Where the flags? Where hey. the flags? Where the flags? Brothers and sisters. Listen. Our Antiguan talent. Are you ready? You ready? Of course. You ready? People, are you ready? Let's start the wave in right now. Play the song, Woody Foot. Play the song, Woody Foot. Wave, 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 Three feet, everybody, three feet. If you don't have a black card, have the three fingers. Wave them, wave them. And you know it, say amen. Tonight I'm bringing you the word. And I don't want to comment on the word. Are you listening to me? The first word I want to bring you comes from Exodus 14, 14 UPP. Hear it. The Lord shall fight for us. And we shall hold our peace. Somebody say Yes, yes, yes. No, the yes, 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 they mean amen, amen. Oh, amen? All right. Now we're going to go to the Psalms. Are you with me? As a matter of fact, before we go to the Psalm, we go to Second Chronicles 20, and I think it's verse 12. It says, listen to this, what the, the Lord says. The battle is not ours. It belongs to the Lord. Oh boy, I'm tempted to come in. <laughs> Amen. Let's go to the psalm. Psalm 23 says, Because the Lord is our shepherd, we have everything that we need. Victory is ours. Though we walk to the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. <laughs> and the last verse says, Surely... Goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives. Psalm 37 verse 4 says, Delight yourselves in the Lord, and we shall have the desires of our hearts. I'm tempted to ask you what your desire is. <laughs> Are you with me? <laughs> you PP now more than ever. I'm tempted. The desires of our heart is victory in 2014. And God says, if we delight ourselves in the Lord, we shall have the desires of our hearts. Psalm 46 says, God is our refuge and our strength, our very present help in times of trouble. Verse 10 says, be still. No, no, no. Be still. Be still. Be still. Be still. And know that I am God. I will be exalted among the heathens. I will be exalted in the earth. Here it is, here it is, here it is. You people, my brothers and sisters. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Our high wall and our strong tower. Ladies and gentlemen, 
Proverbs 3, 5, and 6 reminds us to trust in the Lord with all of our hearts and lean not unto our own understanding. In all our ways, we acknowledge God and he shall direct our path. Ladies and gentlemen, as I close. Oh, I love it. I love it. Somebody say, I love it. Proverbs 16, 33 says, We will throw the dice, but the Lord determines how it falls. <laughs> and if the Lord determines how it falls, he must fall right. Ladies and gentlemen, we go to the New Testament as I close. And we hear from the greatest teacher who ever lived. One of his students recorded in Matthew 5. When you're going around and campaigning this year and you have troublemakers, I want you to remember this. Blessed are the peacemakers, for theirs is the kingdom of God. They shall be called the children of God. And if they continue to disturb you, I want you to remember this. <laughs> Blessed are ye when men shall revile you and persecute you and say all manner of evil against you falsely. What are you going to do? Rejoice. Somebody shout rejoice. I didn't hear you. Shout rejoice. And be exceeding glad. <laughs> For great is your reward in heaven. Matthew 6.33 says, Seek first the kingdom of God. Hold up, hold up, brother. Seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Finally, John 14 says, Let not your heart be troubled. Ye believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again. Peace I leave with you. Not of the world give I unto you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. He who has ears to hear, let him 